Meet Krista. She goes to school. Her family supports her. She is happy and enjoying her childhood. Meet Wendy. She does not go to school. Her family struggles to get by each day. She is not sure about her future. Two children living in Belize with very different realities. Belize, as a part of the international community, has pledged its commitment to nurturing and protecting the rights of our youngest citizens. But why should we be so concerned about safeguarding these rights? If we understand that investments in children directly impact the growth and development of our country, then we will agree that the best interests of our children should be at the forefront of our national agenda. Advocating for our children's basic needs and ensuring that they are given the opportunity to develop to their fullest potentials are the foundation on which the Convention on the Rights of the Child, the CRC, stands. Because some of our children do not live in the best situations, the CRC underscores the right of all children to have equal opportunities regardless of their home or societal challenges. It reminds us that it is the responsibility of all of society to work together to create enabling environments. Across the length and breadth of our nation, those working for and with children must understand that they are an integral part of affording these rights. But this requires a mutual understanding of a shared responsibility, one of creating, as the proverb suggests, a village to raise our children. And village building is the role of the National Committee for Families and Children. Really and truthfully, this committee should bring to mind hundreds of persons working together at our National Committee for Families and Children we actually have representatives of several different areas of work in this country. There are representatives from the Ministry of Education, from the Attorney General's Office, from the YWCA, from the National Women's Commission, all agencies that share in the work that relates to families and children in this country. We are very happy at the National Committee for families and children to work along with these agencies because the committee is not an implementation body. The people who do the work are the actual agencies that send their representatives to work with us. We work together and our mission is to protect the children of this country, to enhance the lives of the families of this country. And if we work together, we believe that it takes the burden from any one agency's shoulders and lessens the weight of this very important task that we play in this nation. I believe that as a people working together, it will make a future generation in our nation that much stronger, that much better able to be in that developing mode so that our nation will strive and thrive. Established more than 15 years ago as an advocate of children's rights, the NCFC has the mandate to champion the rights, welfare and development of our families and children. The government of Belize signed and ratified the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child in March 1990 and subsequently upgraded the National Coordinating Committee for Children into the NCFC. The committee includes representation from many organizations involved in service provision for children and adolescents. The NCFC is Belize's lead agency for the promotion and protection of the rights of the child and of the family, and its primary focus is in building coordination among policymakers and implementers to increase impact and results of initiatives and programs for children. Our legal framework entrusts the NCFC with four areas of responsibility. Legal and policy reform tasks the NCFC with recommending laws and policies for the care, protection and maintenance of children and families in Belize. 
in the area of information, education, and communication, NCSE provide public education on children's rights issues to both the general public and key partners safeguarding the children's agenda. This includes radio and television campaigns, our newly revamped website, and a host of other initiatives that are designed to communicate effectively with people in all walks of life, including children themselves. It is our responsibility to coordinate the implementation of the National Plan of Action, which is our response to realizing CRC in Belize. NCSC also monitors and evaluates the progress of the National Plan of Action as well as other national commitments to families and children. The National Plan of Action really is a national attempt to build the promises of the CRC to reality for Belizean children. A 12-year strategic plan was developed that outlined six areas of attention. It was agreed that we would all work together to achieve these targets and thereby change the situation of our children and families. Under the leadership of the NCFC, there is a monitoring and evaluation subcommittee whose main function is to ensure that this plan is successfully implemented and that the targeted results are achieved. The Belize Police Department is one of the social partners and the NPA is a document we incorporate into our own departmental plans. And finally, we are charged with coordinating the efforts of governmental, non-governmental and civil organizations involved in providing services for children and families. One of the fundamental principles of the Convention on the Rights of the Child is that of children and adolescent participation. The NCFC focuses on improving the platforms in which children and adolescents can be a part of the decision-making process. Not only is this their right, but it also contributes to the development of our country. At the NCFC, we are helping to build a better environment for families to flourish. We coordinate and advise the government and organizations involved, always keeping our vision in mind, ensuring the best interests of children, and advocating for a child-centered approach to development that positively impacts the well-being of children and families.